lying in my bed, hoping I won't die. Yo, what's up? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report was sent to me by Alex, where he took food into Trizolam, Benabute, Gabba, and Alprazolam. And here's the full report details. Alright, so we got a couple new substances and a benzo withdrawal experience which we can definitely use more of these, as we only have a handful of these so far. But this isn't focused on the common prescription Xanax, or something like Capens, but it's coming from the RC market, that being Funitrazolam. We covered I know Edizolam, but this one's fresh to me, being very potent comparable to something like LSD being in the microgram range. And at this potency, with some careless usage, tolerance can just skyrocket, setting one up easily with a benzo withdrawal state. This is what happened here, and while he tapers somewhat, it's not enough to avoid this scary life threatening state. A seizure is possible in the withdrawal, so he dosed Phenobute, the supplement GABA, as well as Alprazolam over the course of his withdrawal state, which would be days. We'll cover these substances by themselves at some point down the road, but for today, let's get a look at the hell Alex had to go through with this. I'm sure you'll enjoy it, so without further ado, let's dive right into this. I'm right now on day 5 of my horrific withdrawal from Funitrazolam, and I'm only now able to even type anything on the PC. It was horrible, but rather quick. Today I only feel maybe slightly weird, barely noticeable, and I'm just glad I survived this. So to start off, my previous experience of benzo withdrawal was from clonazepam with alcohol, which was about twice as long as this one. About maybe 2 months ago, I made the stupid decision to buy some RC benzos online including 250 mg of Funitrazolam. I soon ordered 500 mg more since I liked it more than the others. I tried all common prescription benzos, plus Fulalprazolam, Quinazolam, and Funitrazolam. And the later one is probably the most addictive benzo I tried. It also has a potency comparable to LSD. 0.2 mg would feel maybe as strong as 0.8 mg as Xanax. In the beginning, if I would dose more than 0.2 mg, I would get horrible rebound anxiety about 5 hours after dosing when it was wearing off. So this is extremely powerful. However, I kept using it. I tried to stay safe by only taking another dose when I felt sober again, which was a huge mistake since the benzo still isn't out of your system when you feel sober. So I did that a few weeks, maybe a month, during which time my tolerance would go up so much that towards the end I would take maybe 0.8 to 1 mg 2 to 3 times a day. It's the most pleasant benzo ever. It feels very similar to Xanax, but more euphoric and it lasted about twice as long. I also never blacked out on it, even when taking huge doses like 1 mg. I would usually just feel extremely relaxed, happy, and very hungry on it, which caused me to gain about 4 kg during that month, but I probably lost these again during the withdrawal. However, over that month I noticed that I would generally get more and more depressed. It seems like regular benzo use increases depression, since I felt that as well during the 35 days I was taking clonazepam. I would also use it when I was going anywhere, since it just made me feel more carefree and nice than any other benzo. During this time, I would notice that I got nauseous about 8-10 to 10 hours after dosing, which was probably already withdrawal. But my rude awakening came last Friday. So it was Friday evening and I was just lying in my bed feeling extremely depressed. After that, I would suddenly get some anxiety, and it dawns on me. This is obviously withdrawal setting in. I was terrified, since my finals were in about a month so I couldn't go to a clinic. So I decided to just not redose and just wait it out. Well, I dosed 200 micrograms out of fear I could get a seizure. After which, I took a shower to calm me down somewhat and then lie down in my bed at which point the withdrawal was already getting pretty strong. The 200 micrograms, which would be a normal dose, did absolutely nothing. This was probably the worst night. Within the next few hours, my heart rate would rise to about 120. I get a strong tinnitus, my whole body would just feel like it was overheating, and I would get a strong head pressure. I started seeing crazy open and closed eye visual patterns, almost psychedelic-like patterns. 
I quickly took 3 grams of Phenobut and 4 grams of GABA to reduce the risk of a seizure. While weighing it out, I noticed that my coordination was really bad, and I just felt like I was underwater. Surprisingly, I had no tremors at all during the whole withdrawal, but my movements were rather jerky and uncoordinated. The scariest thing about benzo withdrawal is how it just always keeps changing. Sometimes I would get extremely hot and sweaty, then my heart would start racing. My tinnitus sounds would suddenly change, and the withdrawal would get weaker, and then come back again in waves. Sometimes during that night, I would feel pretty okay. Other times I felt like I would get a seizure at any moment. I would keep my phone next to me, thinking about if I should call an ambulance. When I was half asleep, thoughts about normal things would seem really distant and weird, and I sometimes felt like I was leaving my body for maybe a few seconds. This terrified me, because I read that these were signs that a seizure was about to happen. But I survived that night without a seizure. I just wanted to get through it so I could finish my course. But I have to say, I would never suggest anyone to do this. You can get seizures and die from benzo withdrawals. I surprisingly was also able to sleep for maybe 2-3 to three hours during that night. But this sleep was filled with super vivid and terrifying dreams. I somehow survived a Saturday morning at which the withdrawal was probably at its peak. I just kept dosing 3 grams of Phenobut every 8 hours just to prevent a seizure, but I wouldn't feel anything from the Phenobut. I would try to listen to some sleep music, but music was way too loud, and I would jump from any sound. Any music I would listen to also sounded extremely sad. I would also have slight audio hallucinations of people talking and sirens going off outside. I just tried to lie in bed in the middle away from any hard objects just in case I would get a seizure. Getting up and walking felt extremely weird and uncomfortable. My body felt really stiff and my skin on my feet would almost hurt when I was walking, almost like I had a sunburn. I would often shower just for 40 minutes just so that the sensation of water and the sound would cover up the terrifying effects. But I had to stop because I felt like I was overheating and cold water would make my heart race even more. At this point, I would get borderline psychotic. At the worst, I thought I somehow poisoned my whole family with lead by accident. Some things that barely made me worry on the normal state would make me panic extremely and withdraw, since it just seemed so real. However, I stopped worrying or caring about other things, like COVID-19 or some girl texting me back, because all of these things were absolutely irrelevant compared to just getting through the withdrawal. I thought I would give up anything or even cut off one of my fingers if it would make the withdrawal go away. This Saturday my brother was visiting and I told him I was in withdrawal just in case I got seizures. I think Sunday 1am to 3am was the worst. The withdrawal wasn't getting worse but I thought I couldn't take it anymore. I felt extremely restless and asked my brother if he would call a doctor or the ambulance while walking like crazy up and down the room. At about 2 a.m., we decided to take a walk, and I was just walking extremely fast for about an hour. I just couldn't stand still. During this walk, I had horrifying thoughts and felt extremely hopeless. I thought if this wouldn't get better soon, I had no other options than committing suicide, since I couldn't take any more of it. It felt so real, and I was terrified thinking about how my suicide would affect others, and that I didn't want to die yet. I just couldn't take feeling that way. After the walk at 3 a.m., I took 0.5 mg of Xanax, which didn't do much, but that in combination with the exhaustion from the walk enabled me to sleep a bit during the next night, during which the dreams were somewhat less vivid and terrifying. I also tried to drink something with sugar just to get some energy, but it was extremely difficult to drink anything and pretty much impossible to eat. Over the weekend, I ate about two bananas. During this night, the visual hallucinations were much weaker but I started having some random jerky body movement about once an hour. My arm would just jerk, or I would even suddenly just say, ah, for a second, and didn't really have control over it. I kept having these jerky movements for about the next 36 hours, which I spent almost exclusively lying in bed doing nothing, since everything was just extremely overstimulating. I couldn't look at my phone and answer text messages because I was too anxious to, so I just lied in bed 90% of the time awake. At about 4 p.m. on Sunday, I felt similar to 3 a.m. after I took the Xanax. It made me happy that the withdrawal reduced so much in 13 hours, and I got more hopeful I could make it alive. 
On Monday, I could even talk with the other people in my family. Even though it was still very overstimulating, and I would get really anxious and sweaty after 30 minutes, and I had to go back to my room again. On the night from Monday to Tuesday, I took 0.75 mg of Xanax, which surprisingly killed the withdrawal completely for about 5 hours. But I was just annoyed that I wasn't tired and wasted these 5 hours without getting any sleep. The withdrawal came back mildly in the morning, at which point it was just annoying. I would just sleep until the late afternoon, still waking up every hour or so, but it was much easier to sleep. 4 to Wednesday at 3 a.m., at which point I'm writing this report. I feel almost normal again. I just got a light wave during writing it, but nothing that bothered me. I think I should be pretty much back to normal within one to two days. Maybe just feeling slightly off for a few days, but I'm glad I got through this. I never want to use benzos again after this experience. I just think they are too addictive for me, and I would always lose control over it. I just never want to experience such a withdrawal or even worse withdrawal again, and I don't wish such a withdrawal on anyone. I took about 2 mg daily towards the end, which would probably be like 10 mg annex, and consider myself pretty lucky that I didn't have a seizure, since other people report seizures from this particular benzo, funitrazolam, at much lower doses, or even after one use. And as I said, please don't do it like me and go to a clinic, or at least taper off. I myself was scared that I would just die from a seizure in my bedroom, and this is how my life would end.